Welcome to the channel. This is No Code 1000 Videos. Today we have a quick and easy Zapier integration for Twitter and Discord. Discord, as you may know, has become a way to create a community around a particular interest and is a tool in the arsenal of many online businesses in hopes of building and leveraging a community for growth of your business. Now, there's a lot of easy value you can bring to that community using content from Twitter and sharing that for your Discord members to read up on. To start, we'll be monitoring a particular Twitter account and sending their tweets to a Discord channel. You can pick any account you want to monitor tweets for and to share them to your Discord community. It could be your own account, a thought leader in the space your Discord is about, news pages, and so on. Now on Twitter, in particular, there are many bot accounts that tweet things of value. And you may want to stay alerted of them and also keep your community alert. That is an example we will be focusing on today. So let's get started. Going to connect Twitter to Discord. Now, I'm going to start with the example of a user tweet. We'll be connecting this Pokemon trading card bot that alerts followers of drops, restocks, and deals. And we'll be sending that to this Discord server right here. So when this happens, which is a user tweet, we want to send channel message. Let's try it out. Now we're going to connect our apps. I'm going to connect Twitter. I'm sorry, Zapier. Yup. Twitter has been connected. Now we want to follow the Pokemon trading card bot. It's going to pull the data to work with. Connect your Discord account. We're going to select a server to add it to. This is the name of my server. And for the sake of this video, I'm going to let it have full control, but if you're using this in a professional setting, consider limiting what it can do. Might have to fill out a CAPTCHA. Nope. And here we go. You can see in the general channel that Zapier has joined the chat. We're going to go ahead and just send it to the general channel. You can come to this page and map how you want your Discord messages to look like coming from Twitter. Uh, we would definitely want the text, the URL to that tweet. There's full text and text. We're going to go with just text. Source. A lot of options to choose from, but nothing of particular interest for this example. So let's go with that. And in this, you can format the message. We probably want a new line in between the text and the URL just so it's not cluttered up you can choose who you want to ping and how you want to ping them and enable text-to-speech bot icon if you want to customize that further
and let's see an example of what it ends up looking like. There you go, Pokemon trading card bot, drops alerts and restocks. All the links auto expand. And there we go. And when this bot on Twitter tweets, we'll get alerted of it and we'll have access to all the latest Pokemon card drops. Now you can take this and repeat it for a bunch of different bots, create your own Twitter bots, and so on. And there you go. There's resources and channels for your community to look at, utilize, and read up on. Now another use case of integrating Twitter with Discord is being able to track mentions of a particular topic or account. And this can be helpful in a variety of different ways. For example, Twitter threads is a very popular trend. Everybody wants to write the best threads for engagement and growing their account. And there are apps that you can reply to that thread, tag this bot, and that bot will take that thread and save that into Notion or Google Sheets or something like that. And we can track every time that app is mentioned. And we could gather all the tweets that people are really interested in. Or potentially another use case is you can track how often your competitor gets tagged in tweets. And read up what people are saying about them. So let's, let's go with the example of the bot that you can use to save Twitter threads. That's saved to Notion, Twitter, Discord. When this happens, then tag us in Discord. Connect your apps. Should have all of mine connected. Save to Notion and getting data from Twitter. We're going to send this to Notes Resources. Now in the use case of trying to get the tweet that was being replied to, there is some work around that you'll need to do. And that is dynamically building the URL of the tweet. So you can see this is what a tweet is formatted like. And we will need to take in reply to screen name and then the status in reply to status ID. And we want to ping no text to speech bot name and in reply to screen name. And there we go. Little technical difficulties, but it is actually supposed to be this string or this option in reply to status ID. STR and let us try it. How to design amazing credit cards in Figma. That is the thread that uh, somebody tagged saved to Notion on. So we are able to pull threads that get popularly tagged. I'm going to discard this zap. And cover one more example. Now, Twitter lists, I don't know too many people who use them like I do, but they are very powerful. You know, a lot of people will curate these lists of P 
people you want to hear from and uh, learn from. And we can make it where somebody in that list of users tweets, you can channel that tweet into a Discord channel. For this example, we're going to find a list of people and we're going to start by finding a account in our space. Let's do a first result. That's not me. You can view lists. And let's do the no code list. So here we have the URL of popular people that tweet about no code. And let's go back. So we want to connect Twitter to Discord again. Tweet in list, send channel, message, try it, connect our apps once more. Mm. So it's looking at my list. Thought I could use a URL, but here we go. And for this example, just do homework help. We want the text, who it's from, and a link back to that text. Next. And let's look at the example. So whenever somebody in a important list tweets, your Discord members can get notified of it. These are just some ways you can connect Twitter to Discord and have some meaningful integrations between the two using Zapier. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out the page for more of these videos.